Our other top story, a serial thief is targeting elderly, elderly residents in a west side neighborhood. Since May, Detroit police say there have been nearly a dozen break-ins and attempted break-ins in North Rosedale Park. What's even more concerning, in some of those cases, the residents are home at the time. Pamela Osborne spoke with police who are desperately trying to identify the suspect before anybody gets hurt. Pamela. Kimberly, that's right. I spoke to the detective that's working this case. He really wants everyone at home to take a look at the video that we're about to show you. But first, let me describe to you where we are. We're along Outer Drive. It's a fairly well lit area, a well traveled street. Despite all of that, this guy is really comfortable walking up to the homes that he's targeting, trying to pry his way in, whether people are home or not. It's unsettling and you know, they really, they're afraid to come out. On either side of John Enot's home are two elderly women living alone. The pair have something else in common. Both have become the targets of the man you see here on Enot's home surveillance video. He definitely knows what he's doing. Uh, this is not his first rodeo. Detroit police say this attempted break-in happened in May. Watch as the suspect, shielded by an overgrown bush, goes from one window to the next. Investigators say he spent about 10 minutes trying to pry his way in with no luck. All the while the homeowner was inside. Afterwards, he didn't run to his car. He just walked real casually and got in his car and took off. He wasn't gone for long. He forgot something and pulls right up in the driveway to retrieve it. It's like you're being violated. Dr. Kim Logan Nolan is the outer drive block captain. At least three of the incidents police are investigating happened on her block. It disturbs me because I, now our senior citizens are being preyed upon. There is a pattern. Police say the man who was six foot tall and about 30 years old appears to be working alone and is targeting older women living by themselves. And we're really concerned about this because some of the homes are occupied at the time of the break ins. And now that you've had a look at the suspect, we want to draw your attention to the right side of your screen. This is the vehicle the suspect is believed to be driving around in. Police think it might be an early 2000s model Lincoln LS, either black or dark blue in color. I should mention that he has been successful in some of these break ins, walking away with thousands of dollars in jewelry. So if anyone out there has information about this vehicle or the man that's wearing that pretty unique shirt there, police definitely want to hear from you reporting live tonight. I'm Pamela Osborne, local four. All right, Pam.